Welcome to Jewish Cinematheque, where we meet some of the important faces involved with films that tackle aspects of the Jewish experience. Today I am joined by writer-director Nadav Lapid, whose film Ahad's Ni, Haberich, uh, was winner of the Jury Prize at the 2021 Cannes Film Festival. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> אימא שלי, שכותבת איתי את הסרטים הסרטים שלי, תמיד אומרת, בסוף הגיאוגרפיה מנצחת. היא אומרת את זה מהמקור ישראל. His first feature film, Policeman, won the special jury prize at the Locarno International Film Festival in 2011. The 2018 American film, The Kindergarten Teacher, that starred Maggie Gyllenhaal, was based on Natav's second feature by the same name that also won numerous prizes around the world. And in 2019, his last film, Synonyms, garnered the prestigious Golden Bear Award at the Berlin Film Festival. Nadav is one of but a few Israeli film directors to receive this kind of international recognition. Nadav, welcome to Jewish Cinematheque. Thanks a lot. Thanks for this nice introduction. It's great to have you here. Um, I understand that in 2018, you were giving a, a lecture. Um, I'm not sure where, maybe in the Arava, and you were asked to sign some papers. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that maybe impacted your decision to make this film? Yeah, I was um, in the spring of uh, 2018. Uh, the end of April, I think, to be precise. Uh, I was I was in the middle of the editing of my my previous film Synonyms, and while I got a phone call uh, from a bureaucrat um, from the Ministry of Culture, young, relatively I mean, she sounded like a relatively young woman. Um, I didn't know her, but she she she. She surprised me, you know, because I think that we have, most of us, kind of very stereotyped, stereotypized image of these, these, these governmental bureaucrats. And she was, in a way, everything that I couldn't expect. Um, she was um, vivid and enthusiastic and charming. And, and, and you felt to which extent she's devoted to her work. She knew very well my films, which is, of course, always flatter flattering. <laughs> right. And then she was so, I felt that she's, she's sincerely, extremely happy to, to, to invite me to come to the, to the small village in the, the Arava there's a desert, a place where I hardly or maybe never, never been before, a uh, place hard, hardly populated. 
in order to screen uh, the kindergarten teacher. And at the very end of this very, very pleasant conversation, she mentioned the form that I was supposed to sign, but I didn't yet sign. It, it took you totally by surprise. You had no idea that there was such a form? No, no, no. I mean, at the end, also, I didn't understand what she said. <laughs> because in this form, there were a lot of bureaucratic issues, like oh, the name, your name. Huh? <laughs> but then she said, and, 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 and there is also this, 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 uh, the, the, this, this place where you, you're going to see the list of topics. So choose a topic out of the list for, 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 your, for, your, for your lecture after the movie. Choose a topic. Uh, and, 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 and once you choose it, uh, it's a kind of promise not to talk about something else. So, so I mean, it was like, the, 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 in a way, it was, it, it was a period which was, no, it's not like today things are good, but it was kind of peak of these moments of, of harsh conflict between the Ministry of, Ministry of Culture and the Minister of Culture and the, and the artistic community, mainly the cinema, when the, the, the oppression and the censorship uh, and the fear and, and the anxiety uh, uh, went really, really, really far. You're talking about Miri Regev? Yeah, I'm talking about Miri Regev. When, 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 when like filmmakers, when they talked about their future project, if it had any provocative or, 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 or polemic side, they started to whisper or to talk like with three, three points at the end. People were, 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 were suspicious. So you didn't have to be Einstein to understand that what's standing behind this form. But this was so different from your experience growing up and total freedom. Israel's a free country, democratic country, express yourself freedom. So you really saw a, a complete shift? I must say, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, myself also, I'm, I'm neither Einstein nor a prophet, but I must say that, that since, I mean, as you mentioned, for already several years, I'm touring the world with my movies. Previously, like since the beginning, I, I was asked many times about the freedom that you have as as an Israeli filmmaker, and if I think that, that this freedom, this liberty is going to, 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 to be kept. And I always said that, 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 that I don't think so, that, 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 that I don't believe in the existence of, of lonely islands, and, and that, that cinema, cinema, much more than poetry, for instance, is something that is really attached to the um, there's a real material material side in cinema, real material aspects. It's, it's ideas, but it's also cracks, it's also money, and, and it's really attached to the nature of the state. And in a way, I felt that, that, that there's no real reason that while Israeli uh, government and Israeli society is more and more seduced by, by all sorts of of tensions within no for 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 for, for non democratic tendencies regarding um, our minorities or Palestinians or opposers of the 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 the, 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 the politics etc etc et <laughs> that surprisingly enough only the cinema will 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 keep on gaining a, a total liberty in a way it's also not justified. I mean, we are not. We are. We are. We are citizens of this. We filmmakers. We are citizens of the state. We are not uh, spoiled kids. And in a way, in a way, it it had to shift there. It had to shift there. The the, 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 the gap. The gap became became la larger and larger. You know, between a place where where all sort of 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 of, um, of liberties that that, that that existed before. Are reduced while while as a filmmaker you can do whatever you feel like and be yeah, like like be the harshest you can. So 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 we took some time, but uh, a, few, a few months later there was a uh, an attempt by Miri Regev uh, to pass a law, the Loyalty and Culture yeah. Law, uh, which actually went through a couple of different stages of going <laughs> forward, and then it was stopped. It was, so in the end, it was the law was not passed, and and. Yeah, because of yeah, it was stopped mainly because of um, I think because of a uh, 
kind of accidentally there, there was a you know there was this, I think it was the beginning of this 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 ego conflict between Avigdor Lieberman and Bibi Netanyahu. It doesn't matter, but in a way, I think that if tomorrow, also to I mean also today, I think that if you would have done in Israel a kind of uh, popular vote, if uh, um, the, the the state should 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 authorize should permit and of course should finance a, a, a critical movies i don't know how much 90% of the population would have said no i mean i mean i mean i don't think that i i think that you know for instance I never had also, you know, like like personal issues with Miri Regev. I don't care about Miri Regev. I mean, she's all, but I think that, that that the reason why, of course, why she did it is because because she 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 wisely, in a very cynical way, she 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 identified also that 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 it it fits a kind of a kind of a general tendency. General you, tendency. You know, uh, Israel's unusual. Our viewers in the United States don't have anything like this. Uh, films are not funded by a, a, a film fund or by <laughs> government foundations. So money is indeed coming uh, from the government itself. So the question is, does the government have a right to say what should be on it? Uh, Ariel Sharon famously, when he was actually in charge of the ministry that gave the money, said, we're a free country. People should have the right to make films. And because of the way it's structured, the finance ministry actually gives the funding. So mm -hmm. it's apolitical. That very day when you when you were there, you actually did sign that, didn't you? Otherwise, you wouldn't have been paid. Yeah, I signed it. I signed. I, I like in the movie. I I I called. I called the moment that the the the. the I mean, let's. When she asked me to sign this form, I I, and maybe this is something that my reaction. Maybe it's something that that that, that still different differentiate Israel from places like I don't know Turkey or Russia or something like this. Because I automatically told her something like, uh, "Okay, I understand that you don't like uh, opinions that are not yours or something like this." And I mean, I, I can imagine that maybe a Russian filmmaker would have been afraid to say such a thing. And I, I never felt any fear in Israel. Also, when after the movie was released, I started to get all sort of threatening uh, phone calls in uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I never, you know, I never looked around me or, 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 or I mean, I, there are always a couple of crazies. Yeah, always a couple of crazy. But in a way, I feel I always felt in Israel like like like, you know, like like a legitimate son of this land and, and, and never, never, ne ne never felt that, that, that someone can doubt even, you know, my my right to to, to articulate my ideas as, as I'm if I'd like it or not part of this family. It, it's interesting in the film, and I don't want to give away the ending. Yeah. But there is your alter ego, almost, you know, it's almost Nadav there at various points struggling in the Arava. The landscape's incredible. Uh, it's interesting that you chose Sapir because there's also an excellent film school in Sapir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and you have to make a similar type of decision. Uh, and you also have along there the bureaucrat somebody who actually agreed with your alter ego politically. And we'll leave it at that because I don't want to go away, because it really, I think, you then use cinema as your way of expressing your, your concerns. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean again, as, as, as you're doing very wisely without giving spoilers, but I think that I'm, I never thought that I'm doing left-wing movies. I don't think that my movies are left-wing movies, and I don't even think that they are political in the simple sense of the word. There is a lot of politics inside, which is, I think, logical, and especially logical when you grow up in a place like Israel, when, when I think that, you know, trying to distinguish between the the, the, the collective and the, the personal, the political and the, and the, and the, and the private is, is totally ridiculous and artificial. Things are, you know, when you're 18 years old and you go to the military service, is it something personal? Is it something political? Is it, so, 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 so I think that uh, uh, politics is, 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 is a part of the collective soul 
of Israel, of the collective DNA of Israel. And I think that I'm using, in a way, politics in order to, to try to dig inside this collective soul and to, and to, and to expose it. And, 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 and also, I think, you know, in my movies also, everything is political and nothing is political. Like, some, some, sometimes people, they, are, they, are, they can, like, like uh, declare an extremely uh, uh, explicit political manifest and it will be their most individual and personal act and they can kiss or dance and it will be extremely political. So, but it's not like political movies, you know, in the classical sense that, 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 that it, it, it's there in order to expose a specific problem and to promote a certain solution or a certain idea. I don't think that any political party in Israel would uh, screen my movies in its political reunions. Right, they're they're not there to yeah yeah and 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 also in Eid's knee, which is which is a frontal and 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 and, and aggressive and maybe radical. That's what people say at least. Movie. I mean, I mean, you saw the movie the the the. the, the who is the bad one? Who is the good one? I mean, I mean, is who is the villain? Who is it? it's it's no one can say. It's like it's like you know they the they are all like 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 sitting on the on the Titanic and sinking. Um, you've avoided the Palestinian question in your previous work, and here you raise it at the beginning, and then it sort of becomes a backdrop. Uh, the title of the film, Mahadzni. So she was uh, a, a Palestinian who slapped an Israeli soldier. Uh, her brother was then hit um, by a rubber bullet and, and put into a coma. Fortunately, he survived. And then, uh, what, there was kicking and shoving, it all captured on camera. And the Israeli uh, military, to its credit, sort of did not yeah. touch her. Mm -hmm. um, you decided to name it after her. And the beginning of the film is about a movie within a movie. Uh, that you're supposedly making about her and about her knee. And you use this opportunity, though, to take aim at, uh, at, at, at one particular minister who said that, what, what did he say about her knee? Uh, he, felt, he, felt, um, he felt sorry that, 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 that they didn't uh, put a bullet on, on her knee in order to, 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 to make her, uh, to turn her handicap for life. Betzalel, uh, Betzalel uh, Shmotrich, and and yeah, a great a great thinker, and, and you decided film. really to take aim at him in this film. Yeah, because I think I think that that Eid's knee is a movie that 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 tries uh, all the time to be in the most concrete level and the most abstract level. I mean, you know, the movie. I think in the movie, on one hand, as you say, there are like real politician real, with real names and a real Ayat Tamimi and videos on YouTube. And on the other hand, you know... It's video art. Yeah, it's video art and the movie and... And, 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 and there's a narrative. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you watch, and, and in a way the movie is also, again, without telling too much, without revealing too much, but in a way it's like the earth looked from the sky uh, 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 beneath the clouds. So, so, so I think you know it. On, 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 it's in a way the, the whole movie is in extreme close-up and extreme long shot. You know, it's like the most specific, concrete uh, film about this specific time. And and I think that it, it tries to be also a movie about the human human basic condition, about death, life, life being a part of humanity, revealing the human inside you. And on this sense, also, I think the Aid Tamimi case, on one hand, it's a specific and concrete and practical case, et cetera, et cetera. Aid Tamimi is a real person. Huh? On the other hand, you know, there's something in the, 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 this image of this Aid Tamimi, 16 years old girl, facing this armed soldier. For me, for me it reminds me like, you know, like these this recurrent themes in the Renaissance painting. Like, like, I'm sure that if I, that if I, Tamimi would have lived in the, in the 15th century, you know, Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael and all these guys, they would have painted again and again and again. One of their, their, their preferred theme, theme would have been Tamimi and the soldiers, or Ahed and the soldiers, or something like this. Because it's so, 
it's in a way it's so it's it's Jeanne d'Arc, you know, it's, it goes really to kind of legendary legendary uh, regions, and and on this sense, in a way, again, it's like totally political and not political at all. It's like really a meeting point between the artistic and the and, 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 and the political, and it's it's I Tamimi the the person, but it's also I Tamimi the legend. So I'd like to talk to you about film structure because you are breaking so many conventions. Um, in a certain sense, you're you're creating a, a, a film narrative while also doing video art. Um, you have um, these we can call them uncontrolled close-ups. You have these whip uh, pans uh, across. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, th there's this spatial reflection of the Arava, uh, of the south of Israel and in, in, in the Negev. Um, some would call this video art. Others would call this avant-garde. Some would call it exper experimental cinema. How would you call it? And, and is this just your mode of expression? I think that... The, 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 the essential task uh, of, a, of a filmmaker is to reveal and to find and to invent the cinematic language which fits the best his, his proposal, his idea. And, and, and more this cinematic language is... Uh, innovative in the sense that it's detached from, from, from well-known conventions, more it can really, 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 really express his precise, uh, uh, um, his precise idea or proposal. I mean, I mean... I his mean, feelings at a particular and, and, moment. Yeah, 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 and his feelings. And, and, and at a certain point, he just starts to dance. Yeah. Yeah, on this sense, the movie is a little bit like a musical, you know. It's it, a little bit it, like, like, it, like singing in the rain or something like this. It, but it, it, there are moments yeah, when you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah because... Oh, and, and the camera above, the camera below, the camera all yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, because people in the movie, as you said, they, they dance their, their feelings and they dance their ideas, they dance their, their identity, they try to dance who they are, they dance their thoughts. But, but what I'm trying to say is that I don't understand filmmakers who... who who use again and again and again the same cinematic conventions. For me, it's like it's like if, if you write like a love letter and you and you find a form on Google. I mean, so in this sense, I don't know what's exactly what's experimental and what's uh, what's what is it uh, avant-garde. I, I I think that 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 this is cinema and that cinema must put itself in danger and that cinema that the film must contain adventures and that we must keep on investigating these these huge jungles of endless possibilities that exist that, 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 that this, this camera enables us otherwise what are we doing we are just uh, repeating and repeating and repeating the same formula i mean i mean it's it's so it's so boring and it's so dead and you use different music you have you have all kinds of different music throughout the film, and you also use it choreographically. I mean, it just, did you have anyone working with you on music, or this was really coming from you? No, it's coming from me, it's coming from me. I'm, I'm really, uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, when, 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 things are, when things are becoming possible, I put my headphones in, and I'm elsewhere. And put your headphones there and put your headphones on screen. Exactly, 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 exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, 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 it came totally, totally from me. I think it's, 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 it's really, a ver on this sense, it's, it's, it's a film where the distance between life and cinema hardly existed. You mentioned the word distance, and I think space is such a key element of Nadad Lapid's world. Uh, he, he's literally, I mean, there's almost a sexual character to it when they're so close to each other. Can you just talk about that and, and how that reflects what you've just said? Yeah, you know, I think, I think that in my movies there is always like a, a, a huge dichotomy between the words and the body. 
um, both have like crucial role and 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 in a way it's 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 an endless most of the time it's kind of an endless confrontation and 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 I'm I think that the cinema I came from literature I became began as a writer so from the universe of words I understand by the way recently you're you became an actor uh, yeah <laughs> no, I became an actor but, but this, this, yeah. sorry yeah yeah but uh, but 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 I think that in a way what is cinema cinema is about a uh, how your body look like while your mouth is 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 saying these and these words. I mean, this is the thing that cinema can give us that doesn't exist in literature. The fact that we always have body. You know, now we sit both of us here. Uh, you ask questions, I answer. But but we have body, and body contain sexuality, and body contain the sexual potential. The the the, the 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 permanent sexual potential and body contains the the, the 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 body can the body can contradict the words or or, or, or it can be complementary, but 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 I think that that and in a way body is also what attach people all the time to the to the concrete because you know in my movies I think people are trying to especially this one trying to 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 redeem themselves to redeem the universe while using words, while using words in a obsessed, obsessional, almost like a religious fundamental prophet. They use all the words they know, they empty themselves from words and they fail. And when they fail, like, the, like in this movie, you know, they end on their knees. On their knees. On their knees. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. רק לפני שאני אשכח, יש טופס, לדעתי אין לי אותו בתיק, זה טיפשי, מנהלת ספריית הרבה הייתה צריכה לשלוח לך שתחתום, אבל לא ראיתי שחתמת, לא חתמת על הטופס, נכון? אני סגרתי את העניין הכספי עם הבחורה פה. טליה. אגב, אני מצטערת, ביררתי וניסיתי, אבל הם לא מוכנים להוסיף לך הוצאות. אה. בעיניי זה בכלל לא היה אמור להיות שאלה, בטח לבמאי כמוך. אבל חוץ מזה יש טופס שאתה בעצם מגדיר בו על מה תדבר בהרצאה וחותם. בעצם התחייבות לעסוק בנושא, לא הבנתי. איך אני אגיד את זה? יש רשימת נושאים שמתוכה אמורים לבחור? רשימה מגוונת, ואתה צריך למלא את הנושאים שבהם תדון, ואם הם לא מופיעים ברשימה, אז לציין על מה כן. האמת שזו טעות שלא החטיפו אותך לפני זה. ככה אנחנו מאשרים את קיום ההקרנה. בלי זה אי אפשר לשלם לך. איזה נושאים? יש מלא, אני אביא לך בערב להקרנה ותחתום. מה למשל? איתני הטבע, הים. עלייה, מגוון חברתי, דמיון ושונות בחברה. זה קצת אותו דבר. היסטוריה יהודית, משפחה. יש אהבה? נראה לי. אפשר להוסיף גם. ומין? When your alter ego, why, um, comes to, gets off a plane, comes to uh, Sapir, comes to the Arava, there's an arrogance about him, and it's almost as if he's... He's, he's, he sees himself as a Tel Aviv elitist, uh, and he's putting down these local people who live far off in the desert, and what is their life? Their life is taking hikes and seeing the, 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 uh, the various floods that go through the Negev and so on and so forth. What was your intent there? I mean, you yourself said you had really never been to that part of the country previously. Yeah, I think that, that why is someone who, who believes that he cannot be taken by surprise anymore by, 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 by reality, and especially in Israel. I mean, he feels that he knows everyone before, that he knows exactly what you will say before you even open your, your mouth. And he believes that you probably say nonsense, you, you'll tell nonsense because because I think that he that he lives his almost entire adult life in a permanent resistance to the to the to the to what's happening around him. In a certain way, he's totally right because what's happening around him is 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 um, is, is is usually wrong and false, but it turns him to be a terrible person. 
I mean, there is there is there's a beautiful sentence by by Nietzsche that I read only afterwards, but I'm sure that Nietzsche, without knowing, wrote it actually about Aedsni, when he's saying uh, something like that: uh, he who fights against monsters should uh, should uh, should be aware of not becoming a monster himself. And I think that why is someone that 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 lives with this permanent uh, uh, feeling and consciousness of you know uh, uh, being in a in a in a in a battle with his surrounding with so it begins with the state with the politics with the government but slowly slowly it's spreading you know so slowly slowly you 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 see only enemies around you you see only dragons and you see only monsters and, 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 and you see them when you, I don't know, when you go to the supermarket, and when you go to, to watch a movie, and the audience is composed out of monsters, and on the sidewalks are walking monsters, and on the beach you see mon- monsters, and, and the sky is monstrous, and, 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 and you feel that they are all wrong, and you are the only one who's right, and out of being so right, you become terrible. And 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 you 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 lose you lose your connection to humanity. You 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 don't you don't have empathy towards no one. You don't need empathy from no one because you despise them because you hate them. Because, and and at the end, you 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 detach yourself from the human inside you. And I think that the is a mo- is a movie about someone who. At the very end, uh, 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 um, after after he's defeated in the two major battles that he's engaged in, one trying to save uh, uh, his his country uh, and, and the liberty in his in freedom, in of, freedom expression. of expression in the country, and the other one trying to save his mother. After he is defeated in these two battles, he gains a slight, small moment of of becoming again human, reconnect, being reconnected to humanity, being a member of this human race. And on this sense, I think that. Although maybe it's my most um, harsh and radical and brutal and frontal movie, but in a way it's also my most humanistic and almost optimistic one. Wow. Um, Abraham Lincoln is said to have written the Gettysburg Address on a train ride. And I understand you made this, you wrote this film in in just two, two and a half weeks. Uh, The film is (laughs) Ahad Zni. Uh, it's it's brilliant, and I really encourage everyone uh, to watch it. Uh, Nadav Lapid, what a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. For me as well. Thanks a lot.